Hey guys, so I want to make a video to try to help you guys out. I'm getting a lot of comments from my past videos, um, errors that you guys are getting, whether it is installing the HackG2 mod to your NES Classic, or it's the new Retro Arch mod uh, onto your NES Classic. The first question that I'm getting, the main question I'm getting is the C6 error right here. Um, I, this is a picture that I found on the internet. It's the only picture I could find. I didn't want to kind of break my NES Classic to try to get this picture, so I just use this one. Um, but it is the C6 Air. I got the same Air when I tried to install Retro Arch, and I know of two ways to fix it. Um, the first way is by basically dumb luck of what I did. Now, I don't know positively if this is going to work. Um, I don't know if I would suggest this one. You guys might want to jump forward to the second part. Uh, the second way to fix this, but what I did was my NES Classic when I installed RetroArch had 900 NES games on it. I already modded it with the HackG2 mod. Once I installed the RetroArch, I got the C6 Air, so I went to Kernel and I uninstalled. I installed everything that was on the NES Classic to bring it back to factory settings. The first 30 games, the original 30 games, just like when you buy the system, you open up the box, that's what you get. Um, before you guys do that, if you guys do that, you guys can lose all your save spots, of course. I'm going to include a link down below with this web page right here. Um, just some facts that are on the actually HackChi2 site. Um, I believe one of them down below shows you how to save your games if you guys want to do that. So that's why I don't suggest doing this because you guys can lose your, your save spots from your games. Um, but there's actually some other good questions and answers down here that's really good. That will be down below. So what I did, once I installed and got factory settings, I installed one game with HackG2. Before I did the retro arts, I added games. I put in Adventures of Lolo. I did Synchronize. It took about a minute to do. And then my NES Classic had 31 games because of the one extra game. At that point, I did all the install for the RetroArch and I did not get the C6 Air. If you guys don't know how to install RetroArch, you can go to my past videos. I will have a link down below to show you guys how to do it. It is very, very simple. It is just as easy as installing, installing the HackG2 uh, mod. So that is one way to do it. The other way to fix the C6 Air, which is I think the easier way because you don't have to uninstall everything on your NES Classic. The first thing you want to do is install this file right here, this INIT file. It is just basically a notepad file. The link is down below. I open it up with notepad plus plus, and it just has a bunch of stuff in it. You want to highlight everything and you're going to copy. You're going to close the file. Now you're going to go to your Hackchi folder. Once you're in it, you're going to go to mods. You're going to go to mods tra or mod transfer, Hackchi, and then you're going to open up the INIT file. You want to make sure that everything is highlighted. You want to delete it and then paste everything that was in the other file into this file. I'm not going to do it because I've already um, fixed my error but you want to basically delete everything that's in the in this file and paste everything that's in the file that you download at that point you can start from scratch you can install RetroPie, uh, follow my video down below on how to do it and that will cure the c6 error hope that helps you guys see you around